So, this morning we are going to breakfast with Joshua Voiles. I still don't know if Mari is going or not. Just putting some product in my hair. Can I try it? Can I try just a little, little bit of this? Would you like some product? Yeah, so how do I how do, I do this? Uh, As just, you can see, I normally don't uh, do much in that area. So what do I do? Just take a bit. Take a little goop yeah. like this and then what? And then, you know, rub it all together. Like this? And then just rub it all through your hair. Let's see. And then, uh... I, you know, kind of push it all can towards the no, center. Like, mine does this natural and thing, then kind of in the front like up this. Up in the front. So I kind of like to emphasize that a bit. Okay. It looks the same like before I even put it in. If nothing else, now it smells good. I was going to say, now I smell, I smell pretty good. What do you think? What do you think? I think it, it made it a little more voluminous. Thanks, bro. We're at the original Pancake House. I will say it is not Hub and Spoke Diner, which is where we would have been. Yeah, we were gonna go to Hub and Spoke Diner, but that's back the other way. When we come back, maybe we'll go to Hub and Spoke. Have you seen Vsauce's, I have, is it a soup? I have A bowl of cereal, is it a soup or a salad? Because you got the cereal. It's a bowl of cereal. It's a bowl of cereal. No, but you, but but by technical definition, is it a soup or a salad? By technical definition, it's a bowl of goddamn you cereal. You take a cereal and then you pour milk on it. Like, is that the dressing? Is that salad? It's the goddamn or milk. Or is it a soup? <laughs> because you put the, like, the cereal. It's more you, 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 you can have the milk first and then put the cereal in it. That would make it a you soup. You that, right. sir. Is a false binary. Yeah, and that's what. Main... That's the, Yeah, let's take on that one. <laughs> but also, even within that false binary, it's definitely a soup. <laughs> like just liquid ratio, you don't have that much liquid on a salad. But the way that it's applied, on but on top of that, let's say you get Cheerios, right? Let's say you get or okay. checks. Okay, you have it in wait, the, wait, the we're soup. About you have it in the soup, cereal, but then, right? but then you pour sure sugar I, on top I, I of it. The Why am I pouring sugar on it? Right, so I, I just jumped into this conversation. <laughs> I have zero idea. That's what's, like what's putting happening. pepper on your soup. I've been in this conversation. Or your salad. I have zero idea what's going on. What if you put crushed strawberry? Or what if you put slices of With strawberries croutons, in it? Like what if you put some banana cereal. slices in your Cheerios? What does that make it? Does it make it a salad or a soup? No, if, if you put banana slices on a, a sandwich, it's still a sandwich. No, it's not but, super okay, salad. It's... Josh has looked up salad in the dictionary. Uh -huh. A usually cold dish consisting of vegetables as lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers covered with a dressing and sometimes containing a seafood, meat, or eggs. Don't read the second one. Here's another thing, Any though. of various dishes Don't read the second one. Don't as meat, this. seafood, eggs, pasta, fruit, prepared singly or combined, usually <laughs> cut up, about the right mixed with one. a okay. dressing, and served cold, but a soup. <laughs> also, wait, soup. so if you warm up your cereal, then it's not a salad anymore. Also, wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. wait. A, dressing, a, soup. a dressing, a dressing implies that you are doing that specifically for the flavor, whereas I would argue that adding milk to your cereal is more of a like. It's more of a lubricant than, yes. than, a, than a flavor. Yes. It's not a seasoning. It's a lubricant. It is not a dressing. Yeah, yeah. Sure. sure. Also, yeah, I guess I'm more lubricant on my fruity pebbles. If you pour the milk on top of shredded lettuce, does that make that lettuce cereal? No! It's a salad! <laughs> okay. The milk was a dressing! It's a lubricant. <laughs> Great. I think it's part of this, so like soup and cereal are confined to bowls. <laughs> the salads could be on a plate. It could be anywhere. Could be anywhere. I didn't see anywhere on there that said that but salad that's my had own, to be that's on a plate. Yeah, if you, <laughs> if that's you your own buy, reality. If you go buy a can of, of Campbell's chicken noodle soup and you pour <laughs> it all over a plate, it doesn't make it not soup. No, but it makes you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it is hard to explain how large this omelet is. Like it's my hands are not small hands and it's 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 substantial. It is super hot. We're leaving Salt Lake City. Actually, we're technically in Sandy right now. We're leaving the greater Salt Lake City area. Our current plan is to drive a little bit of the way to uh, Provo, stop and get some gasoline, maybe some Jamba Juice, and then we'll book it to Las Vegas. There's a Thai restaurant in Vegas that Stefan is excited to eat at. So if we get there early enough and the place is still open, then we'll do that. Otherwise, I don't know, they have In-N-Out. They have Chipotle, they have Las Vegas buffets. After dinner, after Vegas, uh, we'll make it the rest of the way to California. I'm gonna estimate that we'll arrive sometime around midnight. Yeah. 
Took almost 11 gallons that time. This should take us all the way to Vegas. We'll see. Did you get snacks? No. Why? What if we need snacks? It's so hot. It's pretty warm here. It's hot. But look how many gasoline options they have. I loaded up on supplies. This thing's beeping at me. Please replace the nozzle. My pleasure. and said that uh, his car is doing something weird, so I think we're gonna pull off at the next exit and investigate. What's the situation? So, uh, uh, the car would like kind of jolt a bit, and then I'd press the accelerator and nothing would happen. Like, it felt, it felt like there was no uh, tension on the, on the accelerator, so then, yeah, nothing would happen. So, I don't know, oh, it is really it hot. It is really hot. I was thinking maybe it's just overheat, like, there's just yeah. too much heat in here, but. How do you enjoy this weather? Uh, it's better than Florida. Is it? Yes. I guess that's true. It's it's not humid here. I keep telling Todd that it's time for a new car. So, yeah, I don't know, man. Um, I'm just gonna let it sit for a long minute. I mean, I was just gonna let it cool off, but... I mean, <laughs> Vegas is right there. slowly behind Todd, just in case anything happens, into Las Vegas. We're gonna try to find a nice shady place to park his car. We're gonna eat some food and hopefully cooling down will give his car a chance to uh, recuperate. Maybe it'll stop acting up. So Trump Tower is right up here and uh, I think the last time I stayed in Vegas we were in Trump Tower. <laughs> Not that Trump has ever been a shining pillar of uh, goodness and morality, but I would feel significantly more slimy staying in that tower now than I did back then. We just passed a sign that had a readout of the temperature. 114 degrees Fahrenheit. That is redonkulous. I was saying to Caitlin while we were driving into Vegas, this city should not be here. Like, <laughs> there's, there's no water out here. There's no power out here. Everything this city needs to subsist has to be brought in from elsewhere. It's kind of fascinating that it came to be where it is. F it spas over there. What? F it spa. What? F it spa. <laughs> what are you saying? It. Is it behaving better now? I didn't have any issues at all. I thought like I kept below like your know, 40 and then I thought well you know I'm gonna get up to 65, 70 see if I can get it to, to happen. So I sped up and seemed fine so. Yeah, Todd, they, if you're having a bad day. F it spa. Look how cute this little cart is. That's really cute. Hopefully this is the last leg of the journey. We're just gonna stop at a gas station real quick, top off the tanks. I'll probably grab some kind of energy drink just to make sure that I'm not getting drowsy on the way home. And then, California. If we get home early enough, in and out might still be open. I'm so full. I'm pretty full right now, yep. So we're passing by the Mirage, which is one of the uh, hotel casinos in town here. And it reminded me that when I was young, and still now, my dad really enjoys coming out to Vegas and gambling and stuff. Um, but when I was young, he took a trip out here to Vegas with his friend Robert, and then he had one of those giant shoulder-mounted VHS recording camcorders at the time, and he filmed a video of the volcano that's in front of the Mirage. It normally has water coming down, it's like a big water feature. I don't know if they do it every half hour or hour or whatever, but sometimes there's like fire in the water and they make it look like it's erupting and stuff. But he filmed that and then came back and showed it to me as a kid and I remember thinking it was so cool. I wonder where that video is now. In other news, I am becoming increasingly dissatisfied with the, uh, the mount that I have for my phone in the car. It doesn't really hold the phone in very well anymore, and I'm not sure what happened, but it's probably time for a new one. All right, we're all gassed up. 
It's time to hit the road for the last time. We got 436 miles to empty. Ooh, bust. Oh, that's not a, that's, I thought it was a police car. That's a fire truck. Destination. Hello, Brian. Hi, Michael. Long time no see. Indeed. Nice camera. Is that a film camera? It is. Mm -hmm. So now that we've arrived here at the Chins and, uh, you know, sat down for a few minutes, it has become apparent that uh, some of us are a little hungry. So the solution to this problem is to get, get the food. Ooh. I'm not quite sure what that noise means. No. I think that was an agreement like food, yes. Anyway, the solution to this problem is... Freddy's! I mean, McDonald's. Whoop, whoop.